So exceptional talent is for the talents of the field. Not many people really associate them, themselves with uh, talent. <laughs> there is like an invisible line. Hello everyone, I'm Elizaveta from Vrela Code. Today we are going to talk about the difference between exceptional promise visa and exceptional talent visa. It actually seems to be pretty easy, but I would still make a, a separate video about that because there are some details that not many people know and I think that they should be 100% considered when you decide whether to go under, to apply under the uh, exceptional talent visa or exceptional promised visa. So like some basic information that can be found anywhere and on the GovUK, on the Tech Nation uh, official guide everywhere is that uh, there are two types of this visa, except of the global talent visa, right? Exceptional talent and exceptional promise. So exceptional talent is for the talents of the field, uh, of the sector that have been working in this uh, IT sector for many, many years and they have like very serious achievements. And the exceptional promise is um, a visa that is for promising talents right for someone who do not have a lot of achievements but they have the potential uh, and they are promising leaders in this field so not many people really associate them themselves with uh, talent <laughs> so i think that it's worth uh noticing that and uh, there is an invisible line between the exceptional talent and uh, exceptional promise visa uh and this is a five year of experience right five years of experience um if you have worked in the digital technology sector for more than five years that you are considered to be an exceptional talent and if you have worked in less than five years that this is you are considered to be an exceptional promise uh what is um but I think it's not that clear and it's not that really transparent. So we will be talking about that um, a little bit more. But uh, the thing that I want to tell you is this seems quite illogical that exceptional talent visa that is uh, is meant to it's meant for really, you know, uh, successful specialists that have worked for many years uh, and that is really harder to get to than exceptional promise uh, is uh, only given for three years an exceptional promise visa that is easier to get and it's uh, it's like meant for uh, a different kind of specialists that are not that experienced uh, experienced uh, is given for five years that seems to be quite illogical really why should I try, right, to uh, to apply for global talent, exceptional talent, if I can apply for exceptional promise? Um, and this, there is one thing that completely changes the game, and not many people know about that, is that exceptional talent visa is actually the only the only visa in the UK that gives you an opportunity to get a leave to remain in the UK, a leave to remain in the UK. And uh, after three years of living in the UK under exceptional talent visa. So usually you can get a lift to remain only after five years of living in the UK. And it's a very harsh process. But in this one case, only under exceptional talent visa, you can get your lift to remain after three years of living in the UK, which is... Uh, which completely changes the game. If you are, if you want to get your passport faster, exceptional talent is for you. It's perfect for you. So uh, it's uh, a different thing, right? So uh, why is an exceptional promise visa longer? My opinion and my thoughts about that are: is this a kind of visa that uh, is uh, meant for promising individuals, and it really helps them to flourish in the UK? So this is something about the exceptional promise visa. So let's go back to our conversation about the, these five years line. Uh, what to do if you have worked in the digital technology sector for six years, for seven years, even for eight years, right? 
should you apply for exceptional talent or exceptional promise visa? I think if you do not have uh, something extra, right, you know, something really like mind blowing that you've done that would be considered as a great achievement, I would still recommend you to apply under exceptional promise visa. But you really need to um, formulate, right, to formulate your like excuse correctly. Why are you applying under exceptional promise? You can say that you're applying under exceptional promise visa, like because the level of your, you didn't have like much time for that. You didn't have enough resources uh, and but you still have done a lot and your uh, achievements like fully meet the exceptional promise criteria. There is, it's not a problem if you are, if you have like six, seven years of experience and you're still applying under exceptional promise visa. The most important part of how do you, uh, why do, why are you doing that? How do you explain the reason of you applying under exceptional uh, promise visa rather than exceptional talent visa? I don't think it's uh, really possible to apply under exceptional promise visa if you have uh, like eight, uh, nine year, ten years of experience, it's not possible anymore. You still have to apply under exceptional talent visa, but it's it, do not worry. <laughs> Actually, it's still okay. Uh, it's still possible to get the endorsement. It's okay. So you just need to um, prepare correctly your case and prepare all the documents correctly. This is the most important part of the application, actually. Uh, so um, and about your application, so my thoughts are usually you need to tell the kind of story that will really show them that you have developed for the last five years. You have really developed your personal, your uh, your like professional skills, and you have become and you have become a better of a specialist uh, for the last like than five even even five years ago and this is the most important part of your application like to show this progress and uh what they should think is that wow if i give them the visa if they <laughs> yeah, i'm like technician i'm playing the role of technician like if i give them this visa they will like they will flourish they will do everything that they couldn't in their country they will do it in the uk because uk has such a, a developed tech sector that's not no um no, it's no surprise. So uh, this is something that you need to show in your application. And this is the difference between the, the global talent, exceptional talent and the global talent, exceptional pro promise visa. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>